15 um, gig chips. Oh. Hello. Hey, beauty. Yeah, this guy does not want to come out just yet. It's going to be all right-ish. It's not going to be huge. We're just going to have a little bit of uh, battle of wheels. Crimos, what up, dude? How are you doing? I only have one of them, dude. This was a gift from one of my viewers. And I love it. Absolutely love it. The Black Beast. Nah, it's gonna be more than that, dude. You're probably looking about 25. Friction breaks a little bit burnt, so... That's not gonna help. <laughs> Appreciate it, Krim. Well, I'm on two TIs, dude. Our Grinding my way to TI number three, and then I'm gonna go three Vengas. Shit, he's on. He'll eventually stop. Sturgeon, no. Swordfish, yes. 122 kilos off the coast of Portugal. So, that was good fun. You know when they decide to strap you to the chair on the boat, you know you're in for a fight. Is all I can say. Darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. See, if you sing to them, they give up. I think my voice just killed the Sturge. Ah, oh, shit, I spoke too soon. Fuck this motherfucker, man. Jesus. Am I gonna have to go down there? Yes, I am. No guys, the stream is not like it's because I'm shift reeling. I'm just taking one step at a time. Before you guys think that the stream's broke. There we go. Have I flipped you? Nope. Shit, I was hoping I had flipped you. No. Batfish. 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 Uh, from the different shops, no, Fisher. 
D, Volkov and Tuba or the same price across the board. Sorry, not Volkov and Tuba, Volkov and Tunguska. They got exactly the same prices. Belaya, I believe it's 10% more expensive. I'm not sure how much more expensive Quarry is, but I know it is more expensive. Amber is more expensive as well. And if you are using gold, the price is the same across the board. The price does not change. So even if the price in silver of the, ro the real or rod or whatever you're buying has gone up, the price of the currency in gold is the same across the board. Guys, I am not going to read chat during this moment. Oof. <sighs> Shit, I was close. Even gave me sweaty palms all of a sudden. Ha ha ha. Saw that coming. No worries, Mob Dude. Appreciate you giving me the spot, brother. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Tight lines and hope you get a good sleep. This motherfucker ain't gonna come out easily, is he? Need him to flip. If I can flip him, we're good. No compare as well as todas, Vidal. Estás a falar da dos carretos? Ah, está lá uma com os preços. Essa não é o preço dos reparos, oh Vidal. Porque ele tinha. Uma com o preço dos reparos e tem com os carretos, mas os preços dos carretos são todos baseados no Volkov. Ah, isso é o reparo, pá. A que diz os preços é reparos. Eu já vi lá. I think this Vang is starting to become overdue a friction break.
You mean the 38 kilo Luger with the gold 80? <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, Crims. Dude, I'm on nearly 2,000 hours in game. In total, I've got nine accounts altogether. <laughs> Man, what the fuck is this? This is not fighting like a stir any Sturge I've caught before. This thing feels almost like a Lugia, it's just sudden whiplashes. Well, tá muito bom, Vidal. Não trabalhas muito. A car and I'm Santa Claus. I just need him to flip. We're at this impasse for ages, and I bet you any money you want, it's not even going to be a trophy. Guys, I'm not really reading chat at the moment, I'm just kind of glancing through it through the corner of my eye. Already tried that, dude. It's not... Actually, might have this time. Nope. I think it's coming. Yeah, he's not stuck, he's moving. He's going to the right. Ah, oh, shit. My finger's spasm. I tried that a couple of times, dude, to see if I could flip him upside down. But... It failed miserably. No, he's not gonna come out like that. I'm gonna have to tire him out. I didn't know that. Yeah, I tend to do sometimes very quick snap locks just to stop the run, and it works. Goldus, what do you reckon, dude? You guys got a lot more experience with these guys than I do. There he is. I caught a glimpse of it. All I can tell you is, is that it's grey. Big for big enough for trophy or you don't reckon?
The fin looked big. Uh, George, yep. Yeah. I hooked up a ladder. You know, Russia's finest uh, autom automotive vehicle. Yeah, it does not feel like... No, it's not too big. I don't think it's a blue tag. That's out of the question. I'm actually wondering if he's actually even going to make it to trophy. All I know is the Veng is going to need a new friction brake at the end. I can now see why people have six or nine Vengas altogether. If they do a lot of Sturge. Can we get him to turn? Yep, he's turned. I'm gonna take a couple more steps forward. A bit higher up. Yeah, 50 for um, trophy tag. Blue tag's 100. Probably gonna fight him with less friction break now. This is gonna take a few minutes, yeah. Definitely. I mean, I caught a 41 with the Venga and it didn't take me this long. So, granted, the Venga was a lot fresher than this, but he's definitely not, uh, not being very friendly. I'm blaming Moby for this. He sent me here. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. He's about to whiplash me again. There we go. Uh, that's it. That, that. No, you fecker. I think he's getting tired, go. Bastard.
Oh, definitely, dude. By far. All we can do is just go backwards and forwards there. So, we just got to wait until he gets tired. I got a Moby Dick, yes. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I couldn't help that. <laughs> Come on. I need to get a fish timer. If I'm going to be fishing Sturge, I need to get a fight timer on. Fucking hope so. If it's a 50 plus Sturge, dude, that's 1,300 silver on the spot. Because I know exactly how much I got for the last one, which was 1,300. And that was a 55 kilo. A 10 kilo cut on a, on a Venga Karn? Doubt it. Karn, this thing is running 60 kilo line on it. <laughs> I only got Vengas because somebody decided to uh, treat me to a Venga. And in the meantime, I got two other rods in the water that God knows what's happening to them. The good thing is, guys, because of the layout I've set up my game as, I can actually use my keyboard for the fight as well. So, it does give my wrist hand a rest. Well, my mouse hand, I mean. Make sure that hook is set. Nope. Okay, that stopped him. That didn't. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I was speechless, man. I I was kind of... I thought it was a joke at first, brother, but he just kind of left me a little bit... What the hell? But you want me to do it without double scope? Right, okay. I don't think you can even see it from here without double scope, can you? Nicely done, dude. There we go guys, we got light. One, two, three steps back. Nah. But apparently if you stack them they get they um get brighter. I tend to just scatter a load of them to illuminate an area.
Shit. Nope. The Venga isn't. Venga is getting burned by the minute, dude. It's got to be a trophy. If this thing isn't a trophy, then I don't know, dude. He's getting slower, mine. Spoke too soon. Yep, pretty much, corner. I've had them nearly out of the water, dude. And they literally just whiplash their way out. I'm almost sure it is as well, dude. The way it's fighting, he, and the little glimpse I caught of the um, of the fin, the fin does not look small. It could also be out something else. Dust. You know what it could also be, don't you? Could be a goddamn beluga. You say rush? I'll trust you. If it's a bastard, then it'll be my biggest one then. Because I think my biggest bastard is 30 kilos. You guys managed to see the head, I didn't manage to see fuck all. Time to go and get my eyes checked. Come on. Time to break records, boys. At least my own personal records, that is. <laughs> yeah, all the bulugas I caught, they were bitches. <laughs> I ain't releasing it dude I need the fucking silver Do you know how much it's gonna cost me to repair the reel when I'm done? <laughs> I ain't releasing no fish dude No fish If it's a blue tag dude Then Holy shit I hate when he does this If it's a blue tag Then you're talking 100 plus kilos I don't think it's blue tag big. Oh man, why does the rods do this now, man? I need to change sitting position. Whew, I never flipped on my chest so damn quick. Jesus. Watch rockers get banned if it's not a trophy. Lol. <laughs> oh no, dude, I just... I was sitting on a different angle. And... He was starting to become uncomfortable. So literally, I just had to quickly tab out of the game, change sitting position, and then... 
tap back into the game before he stopped. I violated what law, Rockers? Trustery? As far as I'm aware, that's not even a law. Thirty minutes so far? Nice. Hold on, I'll drop the friction brake to five, chub. Sweet. Um shit i need to put the stream tag because i'm gonna do a full-sized highlight and then use it for the youtube channel I know, dude. So am I. <laughs> the thing is, dude, because you cannot see my face, you don't know how serious I'm being. <laughs> I might be sounding all serious, and then he said, I just got a big, massive smirk in my face. <laughs> Jesus, the mech is not even burnt. The friction break on the other hand, gee whiz. <laughs> hey rockers you missed the fun earlier we got a new guy in the in-game chat so i told him to type um he said something about generosity and this that and the other you know with people sending him stuff and i turned around and just went you want to see through generosity dude just type um egdo in on the in-game chat and he's like why well that's up to you to find out i ain't gonna say it and as soon as I said this, he types Egdo, and literally, he went from 0 to 200,000 in 5 seconds. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> oh man, I would have loved to have seen his face. His, his inbox must have just gone bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Oh my days, dude. Now it gets worse than that. The poor, the poor chap cannot send it out until he gets to level 20. <laughs> hey, I've done it to everyone. Corner. We have a forbidden rule in the in-game chat, which is as soon as somebody types Egdo, right? Literally, all I do is, they said the word, you know what, you know the drill. And you just literally everybody spams that person with egg though. <laughs> the thing is, the person we spam then later on gets to spam, you know, um, the next victim. And so what? And in the end, dude, I, I got a gut feeling there's going to be people sending out something like 3 million egg dough in one go. <laughs> I turned around in the in-game chat once and I went... Guys, what's the best thing to level up um, bait harvesting? Um, and literally, somebody just went egg dough. Guys, you know the drill.
Nice one, Chubb. Alisson, sim. Já lá vai quase 40 minutos de luta. Com o Venga. Everybody's on it, dude. I kind of took a step back from that. It's working real well, rocks. Um, Garlic dough and regular brim ground by. Yeah, I know, I saw it earlier. Yeah, that's for quarry, dude. Where you were fishing. 10 meter clip. Wow, you guys can keep your five kilo fish. <laughs> Ten meter was working pretty good for me. You guys can keep your ten, your five kilo fish. I'll, uh, I'll have the big ones. <laughs> Gardner, you know I'm just winding you up, brother. Damn, this thing's a big fish. Nope, just when I thought it was gonna come out. George, no worries, dude. I'll be back on um, fish tomorrow. Or possibly later on. I don't know. I might do a little stint on it again. Have a bit of fun there. Just chill out a bit before I come to uh, RF4. I told you. You said, oh, don't worry about the old ground bait. I got some. I went, nah. You want to try this one? <laughs> MK, yep. Everybody thinks it's that is like the noob prank. Everybody goes, Oh, you knew, do you need some bait? And they just send them like one or two thousand egg though, and they're like, Oh, damn, guys, look at how much bait this guy sent me. And then he's just like, It's egg though. I've been there, MK, I remember that. Nice corner. Yeah, you can. You can even see the fish coming and taking the bait. I got a feeling this guy is almost ready to come out. Let's play break, shall we? Uh, be advised, ladies and gentlemen, if it, if it breaks, I'm going to scream. So be mindful of your earplugs. Nope. Nowhere near ready. He felt ready, Chubb, but nope. Definitely not. 
Now, normally, when I tap the lock go, they stop. But this guy ain't. This guy ain't gonna go anywhere. He's just gonna keep fighting. Uh, baby ones, rockers. Just exactly the same as in um, Oldberg. But I wanna see the fish, dude. Plus, I need a coffee. Rockers, make sure you use large one hooks. Damn, this guy isn't coming out easily, man. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to save the friction brake as well, go. Because friction brake, the last I checked, was already past 8%. Yeah, we're at 8.6. Oh no, he's not. He definitely is, Chubb. There's no two ways about it. This spot in... Um Tuba is by far the best spot to fight them. They can't go anywhere. They're close to you. There's no risk you're going to get suddenly spooled. You got full control of them and you just got to keep bumping them into the wall. But I do hate that gl shimmery glitch on the um, rod. Look, why does it keep doing that? Come on. There we go. Yeah, I'm up top of the hill, dude. See? Yeah, it's all to do with when you have to go downhill as well. Because when you got to get down to the bottom, a lot of times they start fighting you again. And then you got yourself another 10 minutes fight. We're coming up to nearly a goddamn hour now, aren't we, Chub? There's that as well. There's no deep spot for them to get stuck on the bottom. I think Chubb is doing the timekeeping. We're on what? About 40 minutes now? Hold on. Why have I seen no dense emotes in chat yet? People haven't been used. Everybody wanted the dense emote. They don't use them anymore. No, there isn't, dude. Are you uh, checking the time? Well, we're coming up to 50 minutes fight. Jesus. Uh, 
That's gonna probably be my biggest YouTube video because I'm gonna put the full fight in there. <clears throat> there we go, Martin with the dance mode. Thank you very much, Martin. Much appreciated. 47? Nice. Don't slack the line. Asshole, just as I was about to grab water. I sound more British than most people. <laughs> hey, you're British. You can say that. Sixteen years now, Corner. Just over sixteen years. Attention ladies and gentlemen, this is a safety warning, this fish is still dense. Please be aware if you are fishing in the area, you have the appropriate gear. Uh got used to it now dude. It's home, you know. I've seen the good, the bad and the ugly in the last 16 years I've been here. So, he became home. I've only been down here for four years, dude. Before that, I was up Somerset. There we go. He hasn't given no ground. The line has literally been on the same ever since this fight's been going on. He has given me zero, zero ground. Any little ground he gives me takes it straight back out. Well, Karn, about five minute walk from my, fr from the, um, front door down to the bottom of the hill I can literally take the fishing rods and go for macro uh, gilded bream shoaling bass all that stuff eventually guys things get better and I can get set up and whatnot there might be some IRL fishing streams coming yep uh, cod, mackerel, mullet, gilded bream, uh, congo wheels, quite a lot of different um, things bite down there. Normally I just tend to go down and use a couple of lures or some uh, silverfish hooks. And just um, go for mackerel. My biggest sea bass ever was a 9 kilo corn. That was in Portugal. Off the top of a shoddy rock. rock. It's, uh, yeah. Trust me, it wasn't a nice experience because I wasn't ready for that. I literally was not ready for that. I did not have the leaders on for fish that big. Nothing. Oh, they put a good fight, dude. <laughs> they seriously put a good fight. It's a nice fun fight. But when you don't have the leaders for it. And you can feel your gear stretching too much. And you can kind of tell. If you put more brake on, it's going to break. Yeah. And at the same time, I had the tide turning in. So I couldn't, I had to land the fish. Because I had to move off the rock. Because once the tide comes in, you can actually get swept off. Yeah, the time was on the turn, um, Karn. 
So by the time he hooked, you released it? I released mine straight into the oven. <laughs> Now, dude, down here, I kind of got a rule. If it's a, if it's a shoaling bass, um, 50 to 55 centimeters is all I take home. Bigger than that, catch and release only. Smaller, catch and release only. So unless it's a good size, you know, 50 to 55 centimeters um, sea bass, it's going straight back in the water. The funny thing, dude, is if I'm on, um, if I'm literally on a hot mackerel spot, and if anybody else is fishing near me that's squeamish, they soon move. Uh, Golicon, 60 kilo. 60 kilo monofilament with a 60 kilo braid line. Because what I tend to do, Karna, is if I catch, you know, take home sized mackerel, I literally just gut them in, on the spot. I I don't put them in a bucket and then, you know, wait until I get home and gut them and everything. I literally just gut them, wash them with the seawater, put them in a bucket to take home. <laughs> and squeamish people, dude, don't like to see that stuff. It's hilarious. I mean, come on, you fishing? <laughs> He's coming. Dogfish is tasty, dude. Dogfish is really, really tasty, brother. You got to skin them, which can be a pain, but dogs, um, dogfish is pretty good. AKA Rock Salmon, which is the name that supermarket started giving it, so people don't realize they're actually eating dogfish. For those of you who don't know, dogfish is a pretty much part of a shark family. But they're um, very small, they're very common, very prolific, and they do have a really, really nice tasty meat. At the moment, the end. Oh, shit. Energy was actually working in my favor, dude. What the fuck? Holy shit. I actually successfully managed to run out of coffee. Oops. Yeah, don't worry, dude. I don't tend to drink that much alcohol anymore, Chubb. Ever since they got that update, because I do my all my PVA and ground baits on the go, it affects the quality of them. So good, dude. Yeah. Might be tempted. Hold on, guys. Let me re-log to activate the happy hour. The fish will still be on the hook. <laughs> I'm not going to say any names, but I actually saw a streamer do that. He's finally coming out. How long is it been, Chubb?
my friction brake 8.9 which isn't bad it gave me 3.2 damage in an hour fight that's pretty damn good dude I don't normally reel them in like this, but I want to take a close look at them. We cannot see him yet. No te preocupes, Emilio. Tengo lo ya. No te preocupes, compañero. Estoy bien. Finally, an hour fight. Better be a good sturge, otherwise I'm going to swear. You guys think 63 kilo go? Can we take a look at them yet? This is a brand new TI as well, by the way. <laughs> Not anymore. He just had his, uh, he just had his trial by fire. Oh, he's still swimming around. <laughs> he's still trying to move, but luckily for us, he's going against the current. He's not going to surface there. Oh, I saw a little ripple on the water. I think he's getting close to the surface. Come on, there's the tail. No, no, no. You are not going anywhere, boy. Your ass is coming with me. Shadow gun light on, please. He's a big boy. Jesus. He's still not upside down. We finally got a good look at him. Go Dust, you still saw it at 63? No, you can see the tail at the back as well. That's what I saw, Go Dust. I saw the little flick of the tail go. This is not a cow. This thing is a freaking submarine. He's definitely coming out. Ah, ah. 
No pumping, Corn. As soon as I drop this rod down, dude, that thing is just gonna bolt. He's a big boy. He's got the current behind him, Karn. The direction that he went is the flow of the current and that makes them heavier to fight. With a size like this, doubt it. He's a big boy. Finally. And he's still trying to fight. Almost an hour in total, this goddamn thing. Oh, man. Uh, Chubb is keeping time, Todd. Now the secret here is not to let him go back in the water. I'm trying to get the right angle for the photo. Net it in. Whew. That was fun. Oh, I forgot alcohol. I keep them on my library, Chubb. Ladies and gents, thank you very much. Whew. Damn. That was a good fight. So, for those of you wondering, Crayfish Tail S4. 60 kilo nylon mono filament leader. 60 kilo braid on the Venga. It gave me 0.2% wear to the mech over an hour and 3.2 to friction break, if I'm not mistaken. And the PVA, for those of you who want to see it, was the Sturge Crayfish. Uh, where is it? Am I being blind here again? Oh no, I did not name it, that's why. And that is the PVA, which is the classic mix. Rapeseed, chopped warm clay, dried krill, zebra mussels and crab and mussels. <sighs> muchas gracias, compañero. Uh, no. The reel would have burned by then, coroner.
and the spot is 47 100 there it is on the map clipped at 29 meters